Hello and good afternoon all. I got a story out of California that proves once again the Democrats hate mothers and hate children. And this is from and it was a Democratic leader of California that did this. But before I get to this story, could you all do me a big favor and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I am five subscribe subscribers away from hitting two hundred. On to the story. California Assembly Speaker issues apology after denying proxy vote to legislator on maternity leave. Yep, they do not like children. California Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon issued an apology on Tuesday after a fellow legislator was forced to attend a session with her newborn baby because leadership denied her request to vote by proxy. Rendon, a Democrat, was heavily criticized for making Assembly member Buffy Wicks, and she uh, related to Buffy Summers and John Wicks. I know, lame joke. A fellow Democrat attended a session earlier this week after ruling that Wick, who is on maternity leave, did, need, did not meet requirements for a proxy vote because she was not at a higher risk for COVID-19. What an idiot. Imogen's of the session where Rick cradled her baby well, wearing a face mask while speaking at the assembly floor in Sacramento. I want to make my I want to make a full apology to Assembly Member Wicks when then said in a statement. My intentions will never be inconsiderate towards her, her role as legislator, her role as a mother. No, you're only saying that because you got ass reamed by people of California. Brendan added inclusivity in electing more women in politics are core elements of our democratic values. Nevertheless, I failed to make sure our process took into account the unique needs of our members. The assembly needs to be better. I commit to doing better. Brendan's initial decision to make work attend the session to swift backlash throughout the state, a democratic strategist and daughter of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Christine Pelosi, questioning the need for the Assembly member to be at the State House. Rick should have, have, should have been home with her baby voting by proxy that she came to Calag, uh, hashtag Calag, is a testament to her, but it didn't have to be that way. Expecting and new moms can be in the room where it happens by Zoom, by being in the Zoom where it happens. Hashtag we said enough, Pelosi tweeted. California Senate President Paul Kemper, Tony Atkins, praised Wicks for saying she showed an immense strength of moms. I hope this sparks meaningful dialogue about Americans' need for better leave policies and a deep need for affordable housing. How did this get to? No, yeah. The news that Rick had been attending the session with the child even caught the interest of former Secretary of State and presidential nominee Clinton. Yeah, that guy screwed up. Uh, if I were 20 against him, I'll bring this up every single time. So, do you guys think you guys get a big old douchebag for making a mom bring her newborn out? Where it could catch COVID and die. Or more likely catch COVID and get sick. Let me know down below. And if you made it this far, could you hit the like button and subscribe? And as always, be good. Have fun. Stay safe. Bye bye.